Quinellas this afternoon. Commentary team Grant Fox and Keith Quinella. <laughs> Marshall, Mertens, Little. This is good passing. What a tackle by Tune on Lomu. What a cheer went up from the crowd. And look at this. A tremendous. That he must be sent off. Bryle must be sent off for that assault on Frank Bunce. He hit him with 10 punches, and I didn't see what started it. Michael Browning surely got oh, justified. What happened here from, from uh, Bunce? It's the next part. Bunce number Take 30 him out. took a man out, so he was knocked over, and then just there was just a fighting broke out. The reversal of a penalty here. No need for that, Michael Bryle. Frank Bunce was taken out of play. Absolute nonsense. Line to the you must Foley. Beautiful work by Sinzan Brook. Straight to Mertens, who decides to have a go. Michael Jones with him, number six. Again, lost by New Zealand. That's the third time today. It could be a try for Australia here. Tune. Ben Tune. Gregan. A beautiful try for George Gregan. This is his first test against New Zealand since Sydney 1994 when he made the famous tackle in the right hand corner to save the game. Jeff Wilson's hands. He's got away from Richard Toms. Matt Burke breaking out, chased by Lomu. He's got it in the clear, and this is a brilliant run away for Burke. Super try. An absolutely brilliant try. You'll never see a better one than that. And it's a big day of celebration for Australia. The game's not over, of course, but you have to celebrate a try like that. The second half has been all penalties. Burke has landed three and Mertens two. The halftime score was 16-9. There's Pat Howard. Sandy one rather haphazardly to midfield. Cullen. The referee. Crowd appealing to the referee for a shepherd there as he ran around Ian Jones. Marshall. Mertens. Wide to Lomu at centre. Jonah Lomu. And three Australians took to take him down. It's desperate stuff for New Zealand. They've got a big line up to the right. Marshall! He's got to take it round by the posts. Justin Marshall. We've got a thriller on our hands. It's not over yet. Marshall's had an outstanding game and what a difficult circumstances. All black team has been making a lot of mistakes, but not this man. South Africa could win it if they scored bonus points from the last two games. But well, they need to win. They need to win both their games against Australia and New Zealand and South Africa with bonus points. That's if this kick goes over. The Cauldron is the name of the ground. The kick by Merton nailed it. It's a great one. It's 25 all. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. And he should look to the box. The box is the little place behind the winger on the far touchline. Perhaps he's setting up for the drop kick. He's running it on the loop. Mertens through. Oh! Cullen falls over. But drives on. The try is scored. Oh. Australians. Frank Bunce tried, John Hart delighted. The double round. Bunce back to Mertens into the hole and he's got speed. Is this his first run of the season? I think it is. He hasn't had many opportunities. Cullen, I thought he was going to go though. Look at that man Gregan again in cover. Place the ball. Bunce was supporting. John, I think Kronfeldt was there. Drives Bunce over. There we have it. Desperate looks among the Wallabies who are going to be beaten today. This young man played a tremendous role and he puts the little full stop on it, crosses the eyes, dots the T's, the game is over. New Zealand have taken the first try.
try series by 32 to 25. They keep the Bledisloe Cup. The parties begin. But that was a game that really pumped the pulses. And Australia can be very, very disappointed.